Hi there, James from Wombat Servers here. Today we're going to be looking at how to install Bucket or Tekkit onto your Minecraft server. First, from the homepage of our control panel, we're going to move over to Game Services on the left. From there, we'll go into the Mod Manager, which is where we can install and uninstall Tekkit or Bucket. From here, you can see both Bucket and Tekkit listed with information about each mod. Please note that Tekkit requires at least a 512 megabyte RAM server to be able to run. Over on the right, you'll see the option to be able to install each of the mods, and you'll also see the status listing whether the mod is installed or not. To install the mod, click the Install button. The mod will then be downloaded and installed onto your server automatically. Once complete, you'll see the status of the mod change to installed. Please note you can only run Bucket or Tekkit, you cannot have both. So if you wish to change, please uninstall the prior mod. Once you've clicked the Uninstall button, the uninstall process will begin. Once complete, the status will change back to not installed, and then you can install the other mod. Once you've decided which mod you want to install, Bucket or Tekkit, proceed back to the Game Services panel. If you've installed Bucket, we're going to proceed to the Updates panel. From here, we can select to update Bucket to a beta build or a recommended build. Beta builds can often be unstable or buggy. It is recommended that you only use them when there isn't a recommended build available for the current version of Minecraft. Once you've selected the version you'd like to install, click the Install button. The process will begin, and once complete, the update will be applied. We can now proceed back to our Game Services panel. From here, we're going to click the Restart button to ensure that our update has installed correctly. Once our server has completed the restart, we're going to proceed to the web console. From here, we can check that our mod is indeed installed. The console will list what version of Minecraft the server is running. It will also list the version of the mod. Our mod has now been installed successfully. We can close the console, and we're done. That's all from me today. I'm James from Wombat Servers, and I'll see you next time.